All right, Pisces, let's see what you can expect. What is coming in? Channeled message for Pisces. Friendly reminder, guys, my courses and workshops are 50% off. You can find that at my website. Link is down below. And then my personal readings are 20% off. Those are limited. I think I only have a few spots left if you want to grab one. And then if you want early access as well as bonus readings, passionate readings, you can find that on my Patreon, which is also discounted. Mm. So showing me let go of control. <clears throat> there could be someone new coming in. Okay, so some of you could consider someone your true love, but there could be something about their body language that's off, and there could be time apart because there's some sense of self-sabotage sabotaging energy with that person. Some of you could be attracting someone new. This could be a soulmate energy. <clears throat> For some of you, this person is the same sex as you, but it doesn't have to be. Channeled message. What is the energy that you are dealing with? Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Someone is catching your interest. Maybe in a time where you're discontent or bored. So this is what this is telling me is that in a time of your life where you're discontent, bored, just kind of blah, there's going to be someone new coming in if they already haven't. The universe is handing you a, soul, a soulmate, Pisces. They're pretty much handing you a soulmate. Why are you handing Pisces a soulmate? Whoa. A lot of you have ended some sort of collaboration. Moving on. Now, this could be just a friend, this could be a situationship. There was some sort of collaboration with someone. The Ten of Swords is telling me, though, that you've ended it. And because you've allowed yourself to end something that you once put the work and the effort into, you're allowing yourself something new, something peaceful, <clears throat> something that maybe you were once scared of going towards. And maybe it hasn't been easy to get towards this or to this. Yeah. A lot of you, you're getting brought someone that you're actually going to marry. And I didn't want this to be a love reading, but they're telling me that there's something new coming your way. Or has recently been introduced to you because you allowed yourself to let something go. <clears throat> you could be in denial. Needing to trust. It is safe for you to trust. Detach with love so you can see the truth. Of this connection is what I just heard. How is this person viewing you? Someone who's in a self-imposed prison? Oh yeah, someone who's guarded. Someone who's maybe holding on to something. You could be attached to a former life, a former thought process. They see you as someone who's guarded, who's holding back. Someone who's put it, willing to put in the effort, the time, the dedication, but for some reason you don't want to do it with them. How else are they viewing you? Something here about quick movement. So what this is telling me is this person sees you as someone who's really patient, but you also move very quickly. There's two sides to you. And the side that they're getting right now is you being in a self-imposed prison and really feeling guarded or holding back. Now, again, this could be someone that you're with. And there's an energy here that they feel that you're really, really guarded. And they're telling you that it's safe for you to trust in this. But you're having to detach so you can clearly see the truth. The truth is, is that they brought you something to lighten up and freshen up those hard to get through days. So give me more for how this person views you. <clears throat> Someone who's very loving, giving, nurturing, compassionate, soft. Someone who's very strong and determined. But there's also something here about your inner child. It's like they see a part of you that maybe others didn't see or others couldn't see. What is the devil that they think that you're attached to? The devil could, again, be a thought process. That could be another person. It could be a way that you thought life was going to be, realizing very quickly. Maybe the person that you're meant to be with just really shatters any thought of what you were going to be with. I mean, I just feel an energy here of you having to break yourself free from what's holding you back because there's something holding you back. At least that's how they view you. 
So how they view you as someone who's either not let the past go or you've not made a final decision to move on. So some of you are still energetically attached to someone and someone new is trying to come in and they could even want marriage, legacy, stability, security here, but there could be something here of I can't get to peaceful waters until I feel peaceful inside. And this person... <clears throat> There's like an elephant in the room. <coughs> Give me something here about this elephant in the room. What is this? Staying out all night. It's, yeah, wanting to play the field. It could be someone that's wanting to play the field. Someone who's in it for a good time. Who is this? For some of you, this is a lifestyle. For some of you, there's someone new coming in your life and they're wanting to evolve the connection, but there could be something here where you're attached to going out all night, having fun, maybe partying, playing the field, living your single life. But in order to have that stable commitment with family, legacy, finances, foundation, they want you to not give that up, but compromise in energy here, but that's what I want and that's what I want to do. Because I'm, I'm not saying that it's a problem. I'm saying that it can be a problem if it's something that you're so attached to that you're not even willing to compromise or shift. So it's an energy here of, <clears throat> instead of you saying, okay, I'll go out once a week, so then that way I can dedicate my time to this, they see you as someone who would be like, oh, I'm not giving nothing up. Nice try though. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Thanks for playing. Yeah, all about the attraction. It could just be a physical connection. Some of you are holding on to a physical connection. Someone who's wanting to play the field. Someone who's in it for a good time. And it was meant to be a part of your, your path, your purpose. This person's not respectful. This person has wandering eyes. This person could even be accused of doing certain things. Needing to accept the truth. Needing to be honest with yourself. Some of you are energetically attached to someone who is no good for you. I'm hearing that song. Um, I think her name's Coco. I don't remember what it's called. Yeah, this person's wanting to show interest. So this could be, again, someone new that you're dating that's wanting something so much more fulfilling, but they feel like energetically you're still holding on to someone you've had in the past that really is not commitment material, to be honest, but you're having a hard time making a final decision to fully let it go, or you're having a hard time fully putting the past to rest. It's an energy here of like if you ran into that person, your heart would still drop to your stomach. If that person texts you, there's still a possibility that you would entertain them instead of being like, no, listen, you do not have my best interest at heart. You just want attention. Yeah, not being able to see clearly. Believing lies. That's what I'm saying. You're believing someone who's not. And this person's wanting to make plans. Envisioning the future. Wanting to take steps towards the future. See, that's what I'm saying. And if you're not careful, I feel like you're going to allow this to get in the way of this new, this new fun, creative, soulmate type of energy. Because again, you're bored or discontent. What are they wanting to offer you? <clears throat> so it isn't going to be any quick or, sh or sudden. Okay, see here, here's the thing. I feel like they're going to take it slow with you. There's something here about them communicating, showing you interest, but not taking it too quick or making sudden changes. Because there is a conflicted energy here of giving up singlehood or someone could be just so independent, which is the energy we were getting over here. Again, you could be partying, hanging out with friends, <clears throat> living your best life. And there's an energy of, I've been independent, I'm really confident, I'm feeling good like I should, and now I'm feeling like there's someone coming in that I'm kind of interested in, but I'm a little scared of giving all this up, giving up my, my singlehood, my independence, I don't want to lose my confidence again, I want to feel free still. So there is going to have to be a, 
a working out. And I think this person knows, especially with the page, like, okay, I need to offer you something small. I don't need to make like sudden moves. It's like they're dealing with a stray dog. Let's not make sudden moves. Let's not make sudden shifts. Let's not scare you. <clears throat> So this is someone who feels like you could maybe scare easily or it would be easy for you to cut them off because they see you really attached to something from the past. Why do they think you're so attached to this? Good grief. There could have been truth or clarity here. Yeah, or this could be something that you've been resting, renewing, and healing from. But maybe you've been putting off the decision. Putting off the decision to 165% go after growth and cut this person off without a second thought. Because when your energy's back and forth, when you're like, yeah, I kind of want to talk to them. Yeah, I kind of don't. Yeah, I kind of do. Yeah, I kind of don't. You're energetically feeding their dragon. Let's not do that. Let's heal and let's let play a play a... <laughs> I heard Flava Flav, player, player, go do their thing. Because at the end of the day, this is someone who is not respectful, is not honest, is in it to win it, and is in a party mode. And you're holding on to something that's not healthy. And maybe you're not wanting to see that you are stuck in a cycle of maybe accepting unhealthy people instead of cutting them off and making the final decision of you're a blockage, you don't deserve me. If you desire me, it'll it'll work itself out. We're done. Again, healing, resting, renewing. This could be someone who's known that you've been healing, resting, renewing. Doesn't have to. This could be someone that you're dating right now. And they know that you're still kind of energetically attached to someone else. But they're willing to be patient with you because they know that whoever you're energetically attached to is not healthy. But maybe there's not really a way to move forward to what you want unless you're willing to end that collaboration because that collaboration is always going to get in the way. I feel like, again, it's the collaboration where if they reach out, you're going to answer it. You're going to acknowledge them. Needing for you to trust in this dynamic. Okay. What are they desiring to have here? What is this person desiring to have? <laughs> Okay. They want your loyalty. They want some sense of stability. They want something to be fair. I feel like this person knows that you're scared. There's something here about you feeling like maybe love is just not fair for you. I don't know. Hold on. I'm dropping stuff. Maybe they haven't been honest in their communication either. What are they wanting from you? Oh, okay, Two of Cups. Doesn't that speak for itself? That's soulmate, twin flame. That's deep love. That's a deep bond. That's something you can't explain. Those are the people in your life that you date. And, you know, if you break up or whatever, you're like, I don't know why I dated them. I just know that I felt very drawn to them. And I couldn't explain it. That's this. Feeling like this is fair, feeling like this is just. But there is something here about maybe, again, conflicting opinions, petty arguments, petty conflict. Maybe you guys just think differently. What is this? What is the five of wands? Burdens. What is the burdens? Yeah, someone's got to heal. Someone's connecting to their higher self as they're healing. Someone's understanding what they value in a connection while they are healing. So the more you heal, the more what you value is going to come out of you. It's going to be really hard for you to accept anything that you don't value. So again, that could be a minimal connection. I, With the three of pinnacles, you guys have been dealing with like a situationship, a friendship, like a collaborationship. You need to leave that person alone. Even if that person cares about you, let's see how that person feels. How is the person that you're emotionally attached to feel for you? Confusion. Confusion, maybe even an illusion. This person could be trying to give you an illusion, not wanting to balance and heal something, or it might not be balance and heal. Yeah, going through a cycle again, needing to be willing to close something out. If you're not careful, you're going to end up in a cycle nonstop of you feeling unfulfilled 
and being like, well, I don't know why this is happening because you're not taking yourself out of it. This person is allowing illusion to take place. Why? Because illusion is benefiting them. There isn't something balancing here. And this connection stresses you out. It doesn't heal you. Go closer to the people that heal you and make that feel like sunlight. Stay away from people who make you feel like you're going through a lesson over and over and over again. Who make you want to cry by yourself. See, I'm telling you, this person could be giving you an apology or this person could have a tendency to show you and show you attention and then dip out. This could be someone who you see them. I feel like this is someone who would like love bomb you, disappear. Love bomb you, disappear. I get what I want, I'm out. Like that's, yeah, needing to end, needing to close something. A lot of you are needing to close something. Let's get one of these. <clears throat> Last message for Pisces in this connection. So much for a channel message. What's coming out? Reflect on the way that you communicate with others and with yourself. Be sure to express your thoughts and your feelings from your heart with respect. Remind yourself to be sincere. Okay. So there could be something here about a communication issue with whoever this new person is. You having to really connect on how you express with others and if what you're expressing is truly what you think and you feel. Because there could be something here where you have a tendency to say something and then, you know, it's okay to change your mind. But I think they're just telling you not to be so quick to say what you think you want when the next day or two days down the road, you might change your mind. Because your thoughts and your feelings might not necessarily align sometimes. There's time for a change. It's time to reconsider what you're wanting. You could be in for a surprise. See, that's what I'm saying. Reconsider what you're wanting because what you're wanting is not good for you. All right, I'm going to leave it here. Have a blessed day.